Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved in what will probably be my last Let's Play on Ark Survival Evolved itself. Um, that'll Ark Ascended is going to be a different a different can of worms. But uh, if you know uh, anything about Ark, you'll know that we are on Valguero, Valguero, whatever you want to call it. And ah, uh, yes, of course, classic Ark moment with the floating dead jellyfish. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as promised in my, um, my comments, this has a very special set of mods on it, different from any other that I've used thus far. Well, okay, some of the same ones. We still have the usual suspects. I'll put them in the description. We still have... Oh, we got a drop coming down. Okay. Um... <clears throat> we have, um, Ultra Stacks, we have... Uh, S plus Dino Storage V2, Castles, Keeps, and Forts remastered, yada yada, all that, like all that upgrade station, all the things that I really, you really don't want to live without when you play this game, at least in my opinion. But um, yeah, let's get right to it. We're starting right fresh off. I've done some uh, changes to the settings. If oh, what the hell? If only because I had to make some changes to the settings. For the simple reason that uh, I uninstalled the game after the Aberration Let's Play and then reinstalled it now that the break is over. You know, and once once we're done with this, this uh, unless there's unless there's some guides I want to do, I'm really not going to reinstall the game. I have made some changes, as I just said, to the settings, but uh, overall I tried to keep everything relatively the same. But uh, the special mods that we have here are uh, a couple of the Primal Fear ones. Uh, as promised, I've been meaning to do that, and that's a mod set that I know very little about, other than the fact that it exists, and that it is very difficult. Um, I don't know that it's as hard as Mod X, but, you know, it's, it's something. It's there. Hmm. I actually installed this on a different drive, as you can see, because I don't have any of the accoutrements that I unlocked from Rockwell. So, yeah, that's something. I also forgot to turn off respawn with all this crap, so let's get rid of this. Ah, that can stay. Alright, we got some fiber, all that good stuff. But, yeah, this is gonna be the starting, you know, the usual the usual nonsensical grind uh, for episode one. We'll see where we get to from here. Okay, we got a lot of Pelagornis in this area. I'm gonna punch a tree. Ah, yes, and with that, it is, it is tradition in Ark. That you must punch the tree to achieve success when you start the game. Uh, let's give myself some weight, some more carrying capacity. You can see right here we've got a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Let's unlock all the usual suspects. But yeah, as I said... Uh, Actually, before we get back into the into the monologue here, uh, I'd like to take a moment to to say if you enjoy this content, do me a solid, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, uh, turn on notifications so you never miss a new video, and uh, if you really enjoy it, share it with your friends. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Primal Fear is not a mod series that I know a great deal about. Uh, I, again, other than that it exists. And, you know, it's got some absolutely crazy nonsense in it. And to go along with that crazy nonsense, I've added a couple... I've added one additional mod. A couple of other mods. Uh, those being... Um, I believe it's... Um, the A mod that adds in the Night Feeder from... Um, the Primal series on Adult Swim. If you've seen that. If you haven't, I, I highly recommend you go check it out. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, and then I, I added in the uh, the Titanus mod series, which adds all of the kaiju that appeared in Godzilla in the in the MonsterVerse series to the game. Now, I don't know how common they are. I would imagine they're very rare. Uh, they kind of have to be, otherwise it just breaks the game. Mm. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, you can already see we got some new goodies here. Um, 
But yeah, let's let's get on with it. Let's let's get on let's get on with the fun and uh, start really getting out there and getting crazy. Oop. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. I'm gonna make my torch. It needs a thatch. So this is just me making all the basic, uh, all the the usual, like the the bare essentials, the the, the tools that we're gonna need to survive. And of course, I will need to find and kill dodos for hide. But one thing about Valgaro that I like is you can get some really nice early game uh, sap and such from these uh, d dying, from these like dead trees. I don't think I'm able to open this. I think I have to be like level 16 or something. I'm sorry, at level 35, I will shut up. There is one disadvantage to starting where I have just started. While it is easier, I'm kind of stuck here until I can actually tame something to get me off of this. But that won't be too hard. I can also just die. And that'll solve my problems real quick, won't it? I did turn down gathering just a little bit. I am gathering a decent amount of stone, as you can see, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, this is all the usual nonsense of the of the early game. Let's go take a look around. Let's do some exploration. One one setting I made sure to change was that I actually lowered my food and water uh, uh, consumption rate. So I don't consume food and water nearly as fast because I was getting real annoyed and aberration with how quickly I needed to eat. Not about that life. I, I'd rather eat like when it may like the average human. What? Uh, hi. Oh, I have just done a stupid. There is so many reasons why you don't want to go in here at, at this point. But no, uh, this this time around, I, by the way, do not have uh, Arc Editions installed or any other of the creature mods besides the ones I specified. Uh, I've, considering how powerful um, Primal Fear creatures can become, uh, that having, having anything other than, like, the Kaiju mod really doesn't make any sense. So, yeah... Ah, oh, how does it look at that view? Okay, we got a stego up here. Now, one thing I do know about primal fear, if you don't know this, um, is that these creatures can have, like, oh, this is a wild female stegosaurus. Okay, there are various tiers of creature that are now available that aren't normally that, that that differ from the norm um like instead of just being the rare alpha it's like alpha is just now a tier creature that can exist if i'm making any sense like it'll be much easier to see it when we actually get to see it now let me check the water i'm half tempted to try to swim across this Because I'm going to need... Wait, can I unlock the bola yet? I don't think so. No, I definitely cannot. Okay, let my stam recover, and boom. Because this actually looks safe for the moment. I'm probably going to eat those words. This is Ark. This is a dumb idea. <laughs> Look at that view, though. Yeah, this is, this is what... I was actually very close to doing Crystal Isles, which is another personal favorite map of mine. Like, I really love it. But if I was going to do that one, I would have preferred to have done the modded version of the map, not the not the uh, released one. But even then, I'd be hard-pressed to because one of the main attractions is the crystal creatures. And those just don't exist. Like, there's no point to them on this, um, on if you're using Primal Fear, because they just get overshadowed completely by all those creatures. Like that purple Pteranodon right there. No, you'll notice on the ground there, right over there... You'll see another, uh, oh, 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 oh my, oh dear, oh, here, let's get over there and take a look.
Okay, right here, we've got... I believe this is a normal garden variety to run it on. Yes, it is. Standard issue. Normal. Yep. Oh, what the... Why? Is that an Alpha Anki? Yeah, it is. Because I think so. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to that. Yeah, I think it's already kind of mad at me. Is it? No. He's not making any effort to chase me. He's looking at me, though. If I, yeah, if I walk up to him, he's going to smack me, and I can see that he's different because he has those glowing yellow eyes. Uh, normal Bronto. Let's see if we can get close to one of those purple... Like, I'm probably not going to be able to tame much today. Oh. On second thought, I feel like this is a terrible idea. Although, are those Fjord Hawks? What are Fjord Hawks doing on this map? They shouldn't be here. That's eh, whatever. I didn't really disable anything, so I might have to go back and do that at some point. Yeah, those look like Fjord Hawks, and they look like they're hara. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, let's let's hit, let's approach it anyway. I just want to see it. I don't care. Like at this stage in the game, if I die, I die. It's whatever. Okay. You you good, Chief? Is he mad at me? Okay. And this also right here, this rock. When I do my arc review, actually, that's another thing I got to do before I fully uninstall the game. Highlights one of my big problems with the game sometimes. The AI pathing allows it to track you through solid objects, even though you, you like. I don't see how it knows where you are in that situation. Okay, we got another potential alpha creature right here. It's a little larger. Yeah, alpha bron alpha bronto. Yep. Oh crap. Yeah. I don't know why they're immediately hostile, but okay. Ah. You know what? Let's go to the Boreal Forest Zone. Uh, am I about to die immediately? Oh dear. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. The thing is, I'm not really sure how to operate with this mod on. You know, I'm not really sure what to do. So this is just me kind of fumbling around, right? Well, that's half the fun. Half the fun is the, is the... Oh, we got... The hell is that? What are... What is going on over here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get away from me! Oh. Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, see this is why we go back to the small islands. <laughs> this is absolute nonsense. Oh man, that's hilarious. Okay, yeah, we're although I think we're in a different a, a different island from where we were, which is actually good because that one we started on was uh, uh, was trash. We gather up our stone, gather up our tools again, and I think the the end goal for the episode is hopefully to have some sort of shelter built uh, from which we can commence a a full on base of opera like not a base but like you know. You know what I mean, right? Like, just have some thing going forward. I could do more research into this mod, but half the fun of, of, a, of testing out a new mod or trying out a different mod is that you don't know what it is that you're getting into from the get-go. Now, you can see we do have trikes here. We do have cool stuff to, to investigate and look into, so, yeah. Definitely looking, definitely looking forward to that. What in the fu-
I'm sorry, what in the world is going on over there? <laughs> oh my god. Is that a light blurred on with a t <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys can't see that. That's hilarious. Well, you actually probably can, but it's getting dark out. Oh, man. Hopefully it's still doing that in the morning. That's absolutely... That is incredible. <laughs> Ah, uh, hold on, I gotta let Charlie out. Alright, we're back, and as you can see there, I just crafted the stone pick, but we've also got a fabled trike there, so now that I know they're hostile too, we're gonna go over here. Granted, you have to get pretty close to get them to aggro. Like you have to be like right on them to get them to get them to get mad at you. God, curse this cold, man. Not not like like IRL like y you know what I mean. Now the good thing about all these cre the, about these crazy creatures is that you can tame them, but equally, you know the bad thing about them is that they exist and that they will kill you, which of course you know is no fun at parties. Here we're making a campfire, a a campfire, if you will. But yeah, typical beginning arc shenanigans, other than I already know I'm going to die a lot. Oh boy. Hopefully that should keep me warm. Yay, it is. Alrighty. And I think this is the part where I uh, pause and bring us back when daylight has come. Well, the good news is it's morning. The bad news is, look who's here. Thankfully, you have to get pretty damn close to them for them to aggro on you. Like, I'd have to literally walk, like, right up to him and, like, punt and, like, touch his face for him to get pissed off. But. So, it's like, I, I'm glad that it's not wholly unfair. Like, oh, and then suddenly the trike just turns and aggro's on you for no reason and comes at you. Like, you have to actually kind of, kind of invade. It's, it's like the bear. It's like the dire bear. You have to actually, you have to get pretty damn close. <laughs> like. Or, or the Gigantopithecus, where you basically have to... Fit, like, you'd have to have your model collide with them, at least from what I can see. Also, yes, as you can see, this this guy is still here. He's uh, apparently able to fly. I, I didn't know that they could do that. Okay, we got a, we got a something here. What the hell is this? Okay, we have a... Level 20 Parasaur, alright. It's not much of a tame, but it'll it'll do as the first timer. Again, it, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. It, it's... Oh boy. I could go for the trike, but I don't have the... I do not have the materials yet. And you can see we got a Bronto over there. We're going to craft some of these uh, primal spears. I want to see what kind of uh, torpor damage these do. Basically, they work just like normal spears, but instead of... Um, but they do a little... But they do some narcotics. So we'll see exactly how good that is right now. Not bad, actually. Immediately... Okay, so we know that they do at least 320-something tor in torpor right off the bat. Okay. Very interesting. I like it. 
and you get back a normal spear uh, as well. That's not bad. Okay. All right. I, I see. I see what we're doing here. Oh, we got a blue one over there. And a red. That's an alpha. That is an alpha pteranodon. And I just go ahead and not aggro that and not ruin my day. Where'd the fabled go? You can see here we've built up a nice little house. I did this during the night. Just kind of doing this to get, you know, get myself set up. We'll put a roof over it. And that should keep things from aggroing on me when I'm inside the thing. But, you know, it's arc. It's never going to be how it works, right? I'm sorry, but that's true. <laughs> that's just facts right there. Um, okay, we got a bunch of different types of, uh, of stuff here. We get toxic parasaurs. We need to get toxic hide. So we need to kill a toxic um, thing. You can come over here. I don't know why I tamed you yet. We can't actually do anything with you. Um, cause I need to kill dodos. I need to get, I need to get hide in some fashion. I also have no way to store it yet, but that's okay. Taming it's fine. Better than nothing. I just want to do a quick little bit of expo. Like, this is going to be a short episode. Like, yeah, a, ni a nice... Oh, hi. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, toxic creatures, I know a little bit about them. Uh, the way they operate, uh, it's actually, like, they all do torpor damage. So... They're actually really good. Really good, really good to have them. Okay, there's the island where we started at, because I see that purple drop. I need to figure out how to get back to where we were. Although, I think I might have actually spawned in roughly the same spot. I do not know. I will have to check. And thankfully, I do have the corpse locator on, so that won't be terribly difficult. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, so... You now have it on camera that I have died to a, f a Fiomia, a, uh, a Dodo, and I don't even want to know what else. Yeah. I... It's just absolutely, it's just absolutely wild out here, boys. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, I was, I was right. We're in basically the same spot, so I just got to get back over there. Um, hopefully that Fiomia is not going to be camping my body. No, he is not. What is camping my body is the trike. Okay, how do we do this? Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Wait, did I aggro the... Did I aggro the, the... The... Please tell me I did. Oh my god. That would be amazing. Okay, we're definitely not on the same island. I can already... Oh, well, maybe we are, actually. Yes, we are. Please tell me that that Fiobia just aggroed the trike on it. <laughs> I, normally, that's not possible. Like, normally that is not possible. You can't do that. But uh, if if this mod holds true, then in fact that may be what has happened. Oh, there's a level up oh. by an elder fjord hawk. Oh boy! Well, I was right. He wasn't long for this world. That's very unfortunate. Elder Fio- Oh my god, what- Oh, what the fuck? 
<laughs> oh my god! You, uh... Ow. Buffoon! <laughs> okay. I think that's where we're ending this video. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. If you enjoyed this content, do me a solid hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. All that good stuff. You comment. Oh my god, that's incredible. I just... Yes, please. More of this. That is hilarious. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Buffoon, like... A like Plurodon in a top hat just flew over and killed me. <laughs> I can't. I can't right now. I can't. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this has been TBT signing out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, that was amazing.